We are the Falco family. Brian, Serena, Cameron, Kendall, and Savannah. A family of filmmakers exploring the truth about education. Learning to document our adventures in homeschool and life and tell stories of how we live and what we learn. Today, we are getting ready to paint. Um, Brian prepped everything for me. <laughs> I get to take all of the stuff off of the shelves and take them out and down just so I can like dust everything off and give it a nice fresh clean and then the room will be much brighter because we will no longer have this blue. I really wanted this blue to work out. I love the different shades of blue but this one just wasn't it. I was going for like a muted blue. It didn't turn out that way. It didn't turn out that way but the kids have really enjoyed this for the last two three years or so now it's time for it to go Cameron was very sad about it just a couple little things to refresh the room for the new year so yeah let's get painting how many of these sets have we purchased in life I feel like it's far too many but here we are again we're gonna do a little bit of this so this will give like some nice texture to the wall just for something a little different and something that like blends better with the kitchen. That's what we're going for right now. Tiny roller, bigger one, and the brush. The hair is up and it's taken forever and a decade. I feel like the kids are back because they spent the weekend with Nana and Pop Up and Savannah spent the weekend with her bestie. So that's why she's in there giving a recap. But I got all of the trim done. This is the first time I'm like painting without Brian's like help help. It goes so much faster with Brian's help, but he's doing other things. And I was just gonna take my time and paint it myself. So I got all the trim done and now I'm getting ready to, well, I did roll it. So let's keep rolling. is smaller darker the windows don't spread the light around as much so that's why we're going with so much like lightness even though this is gray so once it dries you'll see it's gray but then also I'm going to put on that darker shade of gray with the textured paint and that'll bring a little bit more life into the room so all right friends so uh, we have the first coat looks nice and bright we're gonna do um, science shelves like lab shelves are going to be right there i'm gonna get this shelf over into this corner but i don't know <laughs> part of me really wants to do that um but the other part of me really likes like this nice open space right here but i'm pretty sure i'll end up doing it still going to have the sofa where's the sofa right there <laughs> so this uh Futon is still going to be in here, which is great. The other one is out in the studio space in the garage. So when we have like movie nights and watch parties and things like that, we can pull out the other sofa and just kind of lay it down in front of this one. And it makes for like the best little, you know, relax and watch party type of day. So um, this is what we're working with right now. Not bad, friends, not bad. Also really did it because I wanted a nice, I wanted a nice streamlined look um, into the kitchen now that it is done because my plan is for the kitchen to be such a major part of how we are doing this year. So uh, Kendall's going to be starting his cooking show 
and just all the creative things and I feel like that'll just be a nice to just kind of fall over into the kitchen. I'm going to let this dry and get a second coat on <sighs> all the homeschool things. Fun times. <laughs> Here's my girl. She just got back from a full weekend with the bestie and her grandparents. It was exhilarating. Yeah. <laughs> How do you like the color in the room? I like it. Did you finish? No, I'm still working on it. <laughs> I'm watching Cliff with the big one dog. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to get this color up on the wall. I did want something darker. But this is what I had left over and I'd much rather just add some kind of texture and this is like a shade or two darker than what is on the wall. It doesn't look like it, but it is. <laughs> so I'm still painting um, that second coat on the chalk wall. It's not working out the way I thought it would. I'm going to have to get a darker color. Brian took all the kids to the grocery store to pick up a few things for pizza tonight. My face is all oily, greasy, so please forgive, but... I did get their book selections for the coming year. At least we got those picked out. And then I got a Magnolia Pizza Stones. It says oven and grill safe. I don't think I'm gonna be putting them in the oven. What I really need them for is like serving plates. They would keep the pizza nice and um, warm. So, not that you wanted to know any of that. I'm trying to get better. Yeah, over here trying to share more than just homeschool life, but y'all know I like to talk about homeschool. Just kind of starting this whole back to homeschool type of situation. So first things first was painting um, these walls. And then the next thing I'm going to do is get something really fun um, on that chalk wall. I'm still, I still want to put chalk paint on that wall so I can still use it as a chalk wall. So I'm definitely going to do that, but I'm probably going to have to put a darker gray up here in order to see it well so i don't know if i'm gonna get to that now or if i'll have to get to that later um but i do have something really fun for the kids to put on that wall and i am going to be putting their desk up against that wall so brian is going to hang um the ikea like pegboards up above their desk on that wall i am going to move the bookshelf over to the opposite wall and then that means it frees up space to put my sofa back over here then i'm just gonna lay out um all my little spaces my little areas like i normally do just kind of designate um, a command center a reading space a collector space a science lab kit type of space um a language arts writing space and i'm gonna do all of that in this smaller space um, because I just think it's nice to define little spaces in and throughout our rooms and it just I don't know it's always worked out really well for us in homeschool and life uh, so I'm gonna do the same thing this year things that I did when they were younger we're just gonna have like uh, an older version of those things and in my mind I feel like it will just continue to be like that. It will set the same standard and just let it grow with us. So that is kind of the plan. I'm gonna get the stuff back up on the walls and at least map out what I wanna do over the next couple of days because I may not get it all done today. You know, it's a process. I wanna enjoy it and I'm gonna enjoy it. At this point, <laughs> I feel like I haven't jumped all the way in like I want to with our community here and let's just get reacquainted tell me something good okay <laughs> tell me what's going on with you guys i know that i have homeschoolers that are watching clearly but there's everybody lives and learns friends <laughs> okay so um what is going on in your house do you have a designated little corner that you're working on are you gearing up for back to school in a certain type of way um, I just like using that excitement to our advantage, even though we don't do back to school traditionally. We're not buying book bags or pencils or pens or glue sticks or anything like that. Of course, it's nice, you know, it used to be the next phase after having built all of those main resources up, I think were that around back to school time, uh, we just take advantage of any sales, you know. But now we're not even 
there anymore. We just get things when we need them and it's great. <laughs> it's great. But like I said, I do have some ideas of things that I can share, things that I have kind of pur purchased in preparation for the school year um, or things that I've just prepared or gathered or, you know, just um, sought out because there's a lot of things I'm not actually purchasing. Um, I've just found different ways to be resourceful and I'd love to be able to share those things. Hopefully they're helpful if they're not. Sorry. <laughs> so that's it. That's all friends. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Remember that life is so very full of lessons and our goal as always is to live and to learn and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe!